folks, and welcome to Corn Snake Corral for Thursday, September 22nd, 2022. I'm Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Animal Sanctuary, and this week we're going to talk about target training a little bit, and I'm going to show you some examples. It's one of the things that got me started in formal snake training was target training. I now train the snakes to do other things, but target training is a very good foundation behavior. So I'm going to talk just a little bit about that in this episode right off the bat at the start of our series because you're going to see a lot of it during the series. And if you're all working with your corn snakes on target training, I want to be able to answer any questions that come up during the series. Target training works great with corn snakes. I have found that my 14 corn snakes have caught on very quickly to target training and they respond very well to various different targets. Anything can be conditioned to be a target and an animal may be taught to touch any specific part of their body to the target. Most of the time with snakes, I teach them to tongue flick at the target, move towards the target or touch it with their nose, but you could theoretically teach the snake to touch a different part of their body to the target or set their chin on the target or rub up against the target in general or position even their tail on the target. Trainers may condition their learner to perceive any object as a target, such as a disc, a plate, a cup, a ball, a bucket, a mat, a light, a sound, a scent, a station, an index card, a sticky note, coaster, laser pointer, carrier. You get the idea. Most of the time with snakes, I use a ball or a disc on the end of a stick as the target, but I have occasionally used other things like a plastic cup on the end of a stick so that the snake has to stick their face and head inside the cup to target it. I'm not gonna go over how to do target training or how to make targets in this video. I've already done other videos about that. And so you can check out the behavior education target training playlist. I have a playlist about training targets specifically, how to make them, how to buy them, where to buy them, what they are. And there are two videos in that playlist. You can see what those look like here. Here is the link, but I'll also put this link in the video description because you should watch these before you start target training your snake. I also have a playlist of six videos on how to target train your snake step by step. It's basically like six little classes of me teaching you how to target train your snakes. And it doesn't matter if it's a corn snake, a king snake, a python, a boa, it's all gonna work the same. So if you're serious about target training your snakes, you should watch these videos because I go through how to do it step by step for both shy snakes and confident snakes. Again, I will put the link to this video playlist in this video description. Target training is considered a core behavior by many trainers. Teaching an animal basic targeting can be an excellent foundation behavior from which to build more behaviors. It is one of the first behaviors I teach when working with snakes and it is commonly taught by keepers to zoo animals of many species. I'm even teaching my newest dog to target. I also target my cats. I don't use it with all animals. Sometimes I use a verbal cue, a hand signal, or something like a whistle as a cue, or even a light instead of a target. But I have found using a target is generally very effective with snakes and other reptiles. Corn snakes seem to pick up the concept of targeting very quickly, although they can have a shorter attention span than some of the other species I work with. In this video, Sundust is providing an excellent example of how useful targeting can be for relocating snakes without drama. I am not invading her space, being intrusive, or forcing her out. She is not afraid, anxious, or distressed. Quite the opposite. She was eagerly waiting at her door to engage in this activity. It was her choice to participate, and she voluntarily shifted out into her temporary container to earn a food reinforcer, and when the time came, she voluntarily shifted back into her habitat. She was safely contained, and I was able to clean her enclosure safely and without being in a hurry. This was so much better than me reaching in to grab her causing her fear, anxiety, and distress, or trying to get a hold of her while she was darting away, trying to hide, or anchoring her body around things in her enclosure, trying to prevent from being pulled out of her home. That type of interaction is not positive for the snake or the keeper. It fosters bad associations and distrust. It can cause injuries to the snake or the keeper, and there's really no reason that we have to do that. 
Cooperative care through choice-based interactions and positive reinforcement training is so much better. Everything about the interaction you are seeing and that you just saw with Sundust was positive, safe, and without drama. you've just seen two examples of sun dust shifting and you might be wondering how you get your corn snake to shift in a top opening enclosure and it's no problem there's really no difference you open the enclosure door or lid or top and you target your corn snake out this is vac larouche he is not quite as far along with his target training as sun dust is he's just learning to target out onto a station but as you can see it's no problem for him to target up and out of the enclosure. Corn snakes are very adept at climbing, and if you want to help them out a little bit, you can make sure and fill up the vertical space in your top opening enclosure so that there are lots of things for the corn snake to grip onto as they're making their way up and out. Welcome to Training Tips for Your Corn Snake. This week we're going to talk about how to change training targets if you've been using one target and you'd like to switch to a different target. 
the following is for if you are choosing to change the target. In other words, your snake's been doing just fine targeting with the target that they have, but for some reason you want to change targets. This is not a technique you would use if you're changing targets because your snake is afraid of the existing target, finds it aversive, and you need to switch to start all over. So when you're switching targets, in other words, you've been target training your corn snake and it is very familiar with a specific target, no matter what that target may be, and you want to switch to using a different, unfamiliar target, one that doesn't look the same as the original, either it's a different shape, a different color, or both, you're gonna begin by pairing the old, familiar target with the new target and with food for the first session at least. Next, you're gonna pair the old familiar target with the new target for one or two sessions and then deliver the reinforcer after the snake has oriented to the targets as they're paired together. Then you're gonna pair the new target with food for one session. So just the new target, pair it directly with food for one session. Finally, you're gonna use just the new target and as long as the snake is orienting towards it, you're gonna deliver the reinforcer for that and then from there, you would proceed as normally, just as you did when you initially started target training your snake. Now let's take a look at exactly what this might look like. 